Hi, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 4, which is Introduction to Organic Chemistry. We are going to focus on the subtopic of 4.1, which is Molecular and Structural Formula, part 2 of this video. So, in this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the 3D structure from the structural formula. We are also going to learn on how to identify the classes of carbon, which is primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Meanwhile, for hydrogen, it will only stay until primary, secondary, and tertiary, and we don't have quaternary hydrogen. Alright, so without any further ado, let us start. Now we're going to learn on how to draw the structural formula based on the 3D structure. Before this, for the um, expanded, condensed, and the skeletal structure, we draw them in terms of the 2D formula. But now, we're going to learn on how we're going to draw that in terms of the 3D form, where this structure is known as the wedge dash wedge line formula. It basically describes on how the atoms of a molecule are arranged in space. Okay, and here is the example drawn in the 2D form, which is the CH3Br. So this is the example of the expanded structure. Okay, in 2D. Now we're going to transform the 2D form into a 3D uh, shape. Okay. So um, we can select um, one and two bonds here to be in the same plane. And the other bond going to be represented out of the paper and behind the paper. All right. So uh, it's basically the same as what you have learned in the last semester, which is about the tetrahedral shape. So two of them are going to be in the same plane. The bold line here means that it is out of plane. And the dashed line here, or the bayang bayang here, will refer that it is below the plane. Okay, and it is up to you which bond that you wanted to, wanted to choose as to be in plane. Okay, so you can also select this bond here to be in plane, which is HBr here to be in plane. And the other two going to be one out of plane and the other one going to be below the plane. Or you want to use these two as to be in plane which is here, and the BR here going to be top of the plane, and the H atom here going to be below the plane. So it's basically up to you on how you want to decide that. Okay, so bones that lie in the plane of the pitch is represented by a single line here. Meanwhile, bones that lie behind the plane Will be represented by a dashed line here, and bonds that project out of the plane will be represented by a thick bold line here. Okay, so this is the 3D structure. Now we're gonna learn on how to classify the carbon atom involving the saturated carbon. So saturated carbon means it has four single bond. Okay. So a carbon atom can be classified as the primary carbon, where the carbon is only bonded, for example, this is a carbon, bonded to only one carbon atom, means that it is, it is a primary carbon. If the carbon here, which is the red color, attached to another two carbon, means that it is a secondary carbon, because it's attached with two. If it is attached with three, then it is a tertiary carbon, when it is attached with 4, means that it is a quaternary carbon. Alright? Remember, this is only applied with 4 single bond. And there is no classification for carbon atoms in methane and in multiple bond. So, for example, methane, we have CH4. So, it does not attach any carbon, right? So, people will have the tendency to put it as primary carbon but basically it does not have any class right 
because for primary it need to be attached with at least one carbon then only it is a primary carbon and for multiple bond there will be no classification as well okay for example two between here and here is not as shown as sp3 because for sp3 it need to have four carbon single bond but here it has a double bond and now it become a sp2 so this cannot be classified this one cannot be classified but here you can classify it the carbon here you can classify it as primary carbon and here you can classify it as primary carbon but not here okay because here refers to c h h h and then it attach with the carbon here so here refers to a primary carbon same goes to here okay and if you were to write it as secondary carbon here then it is wrong because we cannot put uh, we cannot classify a multiple point as mentioned here all right now we have to indicate and state separately the class of carbon atom in the molecule so we have the molecule here and now we're gonna classify the class of the carbon all right so here we have the primary carbon because it attached with one carbon same goes to here 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 and here because CH3 attached with another carbon. So this carbon here gonna refer to a primary carbon. So all the yellow ones gonna be primary. Okay. For the green color one, it will be secondary because the carbon here will be attached with another carbon here and another carbon here. So it's gonna be secondary. Meanwhile, the carbon here, which is the blue color, will be connected with this carbon, with this carbon, and this carbon. So it's going to be tertiary. And same goes to here. Okay, one, two, and three. So this one is going to be tertiary. Meanwhile, here, which is the red color, it will be connected with one, two, three, four. So it's connected with four carbon, therefore it is a quaternary. Remember, the classification of the carbon atom only apply with a single bond. Alright. Now we're gonna class the hydrogen atom. So depend uh, the classification of hydrogen atom depends on the type of carbon atom that the hydrogen atom is attached to. If the hydrogen is attached to the primary carbon, means that it is a primary hydrogen. If the hydrogen atom is attached to the secondary carbon, means that it is a secondary hydrogen. If the hydrogen atom is attached to a tertiary carbon, then it is a tertiary hydrogen. So, and as mentioned, we don't have quaternary hydrogen as because for the quaternary carbon, because it, carbon here is attached with four, means that there is no hydrogen. And that is why there is no such thing as quaternary hydrogen. So the maximum number the maximum class of hydrogen is primary, secondary, and tertiary only. But for carbon, you can go up to quaternary. Okay, now we have to identify the class of the hydrogen, which is primary, secondary, and tertiary for the following molecule. And we have to label at the hydrogen atoms. Okay, so here, um, we need to first identify the class of the carbon first, then only we can know the class of the hydrogen. So, uh, we know that here going to be primary carbon, and same goes to here, which is primary carbon, and here is the primary carbon. So, hydrogen that attached to a prim primary carbon going to be a primary hydrogen as well okay meanwhile here um, the carbon is 
a tertiary carbon because it attached with three carbon, one, two, and three, and hence it is a tertiary hydrogen. Here is going to be a secondary hydrogen because the carbon here is a secondary carbon. Okay, one and two. So it's going to be the secondary hydrogen as well. For this one, it's going to be secondary hydrogen as well. And here going to be tertiary hydrogen because it is attached with three carbon, one, two, and three. So the carbon here going to be tertiary carbon and hence the hydrogen going to follow the same as the carbon, which is tertiary hydrogen. Here going to be primary, going to be tertiary here because the carbon here connected with three carbon. And here is primary. Here is secondary because the carbon here attached with two. And here going to be secondary as well. Alright. So in order to classify the hydrogen into the classes, you need to know the class of the carbon first. So the hydrogen will follow the class of the carbon. Alright. I think that's all for today's video. And I hope you find this video helpful and see you again some other time. Bye!